All right, let's talk commodities now. We are looking at uh, bitumen. Well, bitumen is a viscous mixture of hydrocarbons that is a byproduct of petroleum distillation and the refining process. It is used mainly in the construction of roads, waterproofing and roofing. Recently, the price of bitumen has increased by 24.80% in 2021. Why is this so? Let's hear from Adeye at Debussy, one of the research analysts with Financial Derivatives Company. Good afternoon, Ade. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you for having me. So tell me, why this jump in the global price of bitumen when the world is just recovering from a pandemic-induced recession? Bitumen, which is also known as asphalt, is a petroleum-based hydrocarbon that can be found naturally in all sands and pitch lakes or can be produced artificially by the fractional distillation of crude oil. And as a result, bitumen prices are heavily reliant on crude oil prices. In 2020, as a result of the global pandemic and the oil price war between Russia and OPEC plus, crude oil and bitumen prices sank to all time lows. As countries impose restrictions and close down their economies, we saw bitumen prices go, go to as low as $270 per ton in March compared to $380 per ton in January. And as the year went on, bitumen prices also sank to $110 per ton. However, with the, with the discovery of the COVID vaccines and with the opening of economies, there has been an increase in demand for industrial and construction activities, which has seen bitumen prices increase to $270 per ton in January 2021. And right now, it can be bought for about $380 per ton in September. Okay, now bitumen is now being uh, substituted by construction companies and contractors for concrete interlocking blocks. Uh, concrete roads are infinitely more expensive than bitumen uh, surfaced roads. What is the attraction of concrete paved roads in spite of its exorbitant costs, especially here in Nigeria? On average, a properly built bitumen or asphalt road would last about 15 to 20 years without any need for major reconstruction works. While concrete paved roads last longer, last for about 20 to 40 years without any need for repairs. And bear in mind that with the heavy rainfalls we experience in Nigeria, especially in the southern part, concrete roads are more beneficial because they, they are more durable and they have higher tensile strength which means they are able to withstand heavy load and pressure. And also, bitumen is harder to maintain and is more costlier to maintain. And when you heat bitumen up, it releases greenhouse gases, which often cause pollution to land and air, which makes water and food undrinkable and consumable at times. Now, according to the trade report released by the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's bitumen imports to that about um, $152.24 million in uh, second quarter of this year, uh, with Dangote Refinery expected to have a capacity to pr process about uh, 650,000 barrels of crude oil a day. What does this mean for the competitive price of bitumen in Nigeria? And um, again, Will Nigeria become a net exporter or will it be used solely for domestic purposes? In Nigeria, there are about five currencies currently. And with the expected completion of Dangote refinery later this year, the refinery and productive capabilities of Nigeria is set to increase tremendously. Over 20 years ago in Kaduna, bitumen was produced, but production came to a halt because the refinery became unserviceable. And bear in mind that there is a bitumen belt across Lagos, Ondo, Ogu, and Edo states, which is said to have a capacity of about 45 billion deposits of bitumen, which is currently one of the largest in the world. And locally producing bitumen will help Nigeria save scarce forex resources rather than importing it. And the excess the excess bitumen produced after meeting local demand can be exported to other countries, which would be a good source of revenue, would increase GDP, and would create employment opportunities for Nigerians. And of course, producing local bitumen would be cheaper 
and more cost effective than importing it from abroad. I think we, uh, Nigeria has got the potential to actually be a net exporter of this uh, commodity. Yes, because with the 45 billion belts, 45 billion bitmen built across the southern parts, and with the expected, expected completion of the Angotis refinery, there should be a pickup in the bitumen production in Nigeria and would eventually lead to Nigeria being an, a net exporter of the commodity. All right, thank you very much for your time, Adia. We do appreciate it. Thank you.